Bowling Green is headed to Texas A&M, to Kyle Field, and the Aggies are 22.5-point home favorites, a total of 52.5 on this one. And this one's pretty easy for me. I know that Reed looks like he is an upgrade. Um, we'll see. We'll see about that. But, I mean, the numbers look fairly decent, right? They're number 34 in strength of schedule. Bowling Green is number 93. Current strength of schedule, number 24 and number 25. So the stat should be just about equal. That Bowling Green defense ain't great. But I would, I, I tend to trust a few of these things. Plays per game. Uh, Bowling Green is going at a, a snail's pace. They're number 101 in the country in offensive plays per game. Defensive success rate for Texas A&M, number 32. Offensive success rate, number 33. That number got bolstered quite a bit last week when they just decimated Florida in the swamp. Just disgusting. Uh, but look, net points per drive, number 49 for A&M, number 50 for Bowling Green. Uh, Bowling Green's offense is not like world beaters, but they are number 36 in offensive explosiveness. Uh, they are number 17 PPA per rush. A&M is number 51. They are number five in rushing explosiveness. And A&M's defense is number 130. Is Bowling Green going to win this game? No, it's not even close. When you look at five factors plus talent, you're looking at number 29 against number 95. But Bowling Green is a well-coached football team. And I think they're going to be able to hang in this game. They hung in against Penn State. I don't think they hang in quite the same way here. But when you're looking at A&M, um, A&M plays against Arkansas, I believe, next week. Yeah. So they're playing Arkansas next week. They got Missouri the week after that. They're coming off a big win at Florida. Scheduling spot, to me, lines up for Bowling Green. Uh, they're coming off of a bye week. They've got Old Dominion next week, so it's not even a conference game. Give me Bowling Green. I found a 23 out there. I will take Bowling Green plus 23 on that one to uh, keep it relatively close with, uh, with Texas A&M. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.